So we're going to locate the key structures of the neuron and describe their functionality. So let's label the neuron, these tree-like structures at one end, they're the dendrites. should apologise for my handwriting, I'm using my finger on an iPad here. We've got the cell body, which is the soma here, and in the middle of that we've got the nucleus. We've got the axon here. And here we've got the swan cells, we've got the node of Ranvier here, and we've got the axon terminals. So the soma or the cell body. And as we discussed on the previous slide, in the middle of that we've got the nucleus, which contains your genetic material, i.e. your DNA. Now the soma itself, I like to think of it as a cell factory because it actually produces the proteins required for the dendrites and the axon terminals. So the dendrites are branch-like structures which contain receptors which detect and receive neurotransmitters released into the synapse and they carry messages towards the cell body. And if there is an adequate level of messages then an action potential is generated. So like I said before, if an action potential is generated then we get a message being conveyed away from the cell body along the axon. Some of the axons in your body are as little as 0.1 of a millimetre, others are up to 2 metres long, with the longest ones in your body being in your spinal cord, like for instance from the sciatic nerve down to your toe. The myelin sheath is a fatty substance which protects and insulates the axon, and myelination is a critical aspect of learning memory formation, etc. So neurons don't actually touch each other. They communicate via neurotransmitter at a junction which we call the synaptic gap or synaptic cleft, or simply the synapse. So neurotransmitters are the key ingredient here. They're released from the axon terminal into the synaptic gap, and some of these will bind with specialised receptors on the dendrites of the post-synaptic neuron, and that's how we get chemical messages being conveyed in terms of the neural circuitry throughout the brain.